Hello, my name is Marcy Kashara and I'm an Associate Professor in the Department of Biomedical Science and Physiology in the School of Sciences at the University of Wolverhampton. And for the last 12 years, I've had the massive pleasure to teach students on the Biomedical Science degree. Now, Biomedical Science is the science that is at the heart of healthcare. Now, Biomedical Science is actually carried out by scientists called Biomedical Scientists and they work in laboratories in places like the NHS and they are vitally important to healthcare because up to 70% of clinical decisions made by doctors are based on science that these people do in the laboratories in which they work. Now I could stand here for hours talking about biomedical science but let's hear from the professional body of biomedical scientists, the Institute of Biomedical Science, to tell us all about it. Do you know how many times your healthcare has been supported by biomedical science? The newborn heel prick blood test is likely to be the first of many encounters you will have throughout your life with biomedical scientists and laboratory staff. Every blood test, tissue biopsy, swab or other sample taken in hospital or at your GP surgery will have been analysed by one of our experts. Our work produces the data on which doctors, consultants and surgeons base their diagnoses and plan your treatment. Biomedical science is at the heart of healthcare. So, if you really, really like the human body, you really like science, you like the idea of working in a laboratory, and you really like the idea of things like chemistry, and actually using science to help people and even save people's lives, then biomedical science is for you. But you can't just be a biomedical scientist, it's a regulated profession, so actually what you need to do, you need to have a number of skills first. Firstly, you need to have what's called an accredited degree, just like the one we have at the University of Wolverhampton. This means that the Institute of Biomedical Science has looked at the content of that degree and actually decided that it's got all the things in that a biomedical scientist needs to know before they start work in a laboratory. Then you actually need to have something called a certificate of competence. This is gained by training on your degree or later on once you leave university. Finally, because it is a regulated profession and a protected title, you actually need to join a professional register which is hosted by an organisation called the Health and Care Professions Council. So, if biomedical science really interests you and you want to know more, what you've got to do is just go online and look for the Institute of Biomedical Science and actually on the web address below, you will find out loads of information all about the career and the science behind biomedical science and the diagnosis of disease in places like hospitals. Of course, if you want to study biomedical science, then Wolverhampton might have a course for you. So please look on our course pages on the link just below here. And remember, when you clap for all our healthcare heroes and all the people keeping the country running while we're in isolation, it's not just the doctors and the nurses that are working in the NHS we're clapping for, we're also clapping for the biomedical scientists that are doing all the COVID tests to try and help us keep safe every day. <laughs>